two easy no sew pillows and this super cute pledge of allegiance sign are what's coming up in today's video so let's get started on this channel i love to share easy diys and budget home decor and if we haven't met yet my name is lisa and this is our gray house we're kicking it off with a inspo piece an inspo piece from antique farmhouse mine doesn't turn out like this this one's super cute i really wish i would have tried to replicate it more like you know, more the same, but I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> the concept is similar. I've got pieces of fabric from Hobby Lobby. One's a red kingdom check, as you can see, and one is blue with white polka dots. I'm putting right sides together and I'm drawing a bead of glue all the way down one side. And then I'm going to put the gingham check material on top and then I'll kind of pat it down so that hopefully all the whole seam will get um, glued properly and I don't want to pat it too hard or smush it because I want the bead of glue just to be it glued to just where I'm gluing it now I do the material um, I, I don't I, I make it so I'm using the um, folded end of the materials so that way I don't have as much to glue anyway I'll kind of explain that in a minute but Here's the zipper. It's face up. I bought this from Hobby Lobby. It's face up. And that way, when you flip it over like that, then it'll, it'll look right side when it's all done. So you put a bead of glue all the way down and yeah, just be careful. I try to go close to the edge, but like not, like not over the edge necessarily. And I try not to get too close to the zipper. I guess kind of in between. Anyway, pat it down and then that works. And see, this is how it looks after it's done. Um, there's the inside. And then here I'm going to show you. Pause. There's, there's how it's going to look when it's all said and done. So now we're going to do the opposite side. So I've kind of left it like that. You can see the right side facing up there. Bringing over the other side. And then when we turn it inside out, it's all going to be great. I've got Captain helping me. Now, to fold up the inside. See where I, I told you I'd... I use the fold of the fabric so I don't have to do an extra seam, kind of save on the glue. And then I just glue the sides together. And this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can make you can make different shapes, you can make different designs. I choose to do with zippers because I want to be able to reuse my pillow. Now, again, I didn't make it the right size, so <laughs> this is a super old pillow that I had on hand. I feel like I'm sharing a sheet with like doing it this way. But I just needed the stuffing out of that to stuff this pillow since one of my regular pillow forms wasn't going to work. And I'm just cutting enough and then I'm going to shove it inside and then I'm going to zip it closed. And it's going to be all, all Gucci. Turns out pretty cute, actually. And here again is the inspo piece. And just to give you another glimpse of that. And then here's my design. I think it, I think it turned out cute, just not exactly like the design. Here's another pillow from Antique Farmhouse again. Didn't use the same kind of fabric. I used the other fabric. And I didn't, man, here's where you're fixing to see where I mess up. But I've got, so I'm going down and I realize that it's not a straight line. So I'm like making it a straight line with the glue, right? But then I fold over the fabric and I don't put the fabric where the glue goes. Now look, see that? Man, that's because I didn't make sure the fabric lined up right. But I'm just going to line up the fabric seam to seam and then I'm doing that same thing with the glue where you kind of reach over, pat it down a little bit and you know, we're just going to go with it. Glue down the sides to, you know, keep everything together and those, to make sure no stuffing falls out. I do the same thing on the other side, just glue down that seam and then when it's all dry, I flip it inside out and stuff it with that same pillow stuffing that I showed you earlier. Once again, here's the inspo piece. And mine is like, womp womp. I mean, the blue part needed to be a little bit thicker. It needed to be oblong. You know, I just, I measure with my heart, right? So anyway, um, but it'll be fun. It'll look cute on my porch for like the holidays, like Memorial Day, 4th of July, Flag Day, all that kind of stuff. Our final piece for today is this super cute Pledge of Allegiance sign. And I'm taking this sign from Dollar Tree. It was a Valentine's Day sign. And I started to paint over it thinking it would cover it up, but you could see where it said the words on there. So I sanded it down and now I am just painting it with some white folk art paint. And I'm not being super like neat and careful about it because I want it to, I don't know, kind of have a rough look about it, I guess. Because what I'm doing is going to be making this look like a piece of notebook paper and I did do the outside I stained it a little bit with the antique farmhouse antique farmhouse <laughs> antique wax and the color what is it 
Waverly Wax in the color Antique. Oh my gosh. I'm doing things from Antique Farmhouse, so I got that on my mind, I guess. Now I'm putting lines. Here's, two, here's a couple different ways you could have done this. You could draw the lines on first and then go back in and space them appropriately and like measure and everything. I didn't. I was thinking I was just going to lay it down as one like whole piece together and that's why I was drawing the lines. That, that doesn't make sense. So what you should do, do as I say, not as I, not as I do, is measure out and draw your lines and make sure they're evenly spaced and look neat and all that kind of stuff. And then you're going to go back and you're going to add your red line down the side because you want this to look like a piece of notebook paper. And so I do finish out drawing out the lines on the bottom so that it's there. But as you'll see, what I'm doing here is I am taking off, oh, I'll put the little dots for the notebook paper. I'm taking each line by line so it didn't have to be super perfect perfect with the lines, the blue lines, you know what I mean? Like if I was trying to do one piece, I guess I could, it needed to be like more perfect, but I'm doing it line by line so I could, um, you know, kind of adjust it. And yes, I'm missing some things like dots on eyes, entire letters, I fix it. I take a pink pen and I fix it. Here's an example of the little sign from Antique Farmhouse and here's mine. I think mine turned out really cute and I mean you can kind of tell where I messed up a little bit but you know overall it looks great. So these are my three pieces that I made today. Super quick and easy fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget if you want to follow me on places like social media like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or on Facebook or on TikTok or something like that. My content's different almost in all those places. So I don't know, might be fun if you follow along, but just make sure you don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.